Okay, so we're going to take a look at the uh, posterior abdominal wall and uh, pelvic area in the cat. Um, as I said in lab, my bias is not to dissect this area at this point in the lab because of all the work that we're going to do in this area in the future. So we're using the model for these particular vessels. Um, other instructors may not feel that way. So just to kind of get us oriented, uh, this is about where the inguinal ligament would be in the cat. Okay, so these would be the femoral artery and vein that we looked at. And then the large vessels that you see here, this would be the uh, abdominal section of the aorta. And this is the inferior vena cava. Okay, and we'll also very quickly take a look at the inferior vena cava on the cat in a moment. Okay, now uh, another set of differences that we have uh, when we compare the cat to the human is if uh, you remember from the human, when you get to the inferior end of the abdominal aorta, it splits into two common iliac arteries. In the cat, there are no common iliac arteries. Okay, so in the cat, we're dividing into two external iliac arteries directly. Okay, and then you can see that there's a third branch that's heading medially away from uh, the descending aorta, and that is the sacral artery, and that is dividing to give rise to the internal iliacs. Okay, so the differences that we have, first, there's no common iliac in the cat, and second, the internal iliacs branch off of the sacral artery instead of branching away from the external iliacs and the common iliac, okay? The veins in the cat, surprisingly enough, are the same as they are in the human, okay? So we'll have internal iliac veins. We'll have external iliac veins, and we'll have common iliac veins. Okay, so that part, the venous system in the cat is exactly the same as it is in the human in this area, but the arter arterial system is different. Okay, so if we're starting at the abdominal aorta, in the arteries we would go directly into the external iliac and then into the femoral as we're heading into the leg. There'd be no common iliac in between, okay? And just to make sure that you see the inferior vena cava on the cat, uh, since we're not going into the abdominal cavity, the only place where you'll see that is here if we move the heart out of the way. Boy, this is being stubborn, isn't it? Okay, so that big blue vessel that you see there coming up toward the heart, front through the diaphragm, that would be the inferior vena cava.